Think normal is essential, okay? Think normal. Think normal is not easy these days, right? We have gone to COVID-19. Sorry, I'm crying. We've gone to COVID-19, right? We're still going. Jeff is coming. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my Lord. What is this? Wow. Do you want to stand over there? Okay. So what happened? What's happening right now in Texas? It is snowed. Have you ever seen this much snow in your life? Maybe once or twice. Okay. So how do you feel now? Cold. You're cold? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So how many, how much do we have now? Let's see. Four or five inches. Wow. Oh my goodness. But it looks beautiful though, right? Mm -hmm. You want to go up there? Mm. No? Tough. Why not? Just try it. Just a little bit more. Can you talk a little bit more about how you feel about the snow? Since it's... you were born in Texas, right? Yeah, this it's... is very weird cases. Yeah. So how do you feel? Well, it doesn't happen often. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. I I feel freeze right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at this. This is a backyard, right? Oh my god, look at this our what do you call this one? Chair and desks here. Okay. They're all like whew, covered with snow. Okay. You can feel me. You can ask me some questions. Okay, I'm gonna just go up there. What's going on? You know what? Okay, I have been living in San Antonio, I mean in Texas for over 10 years. This is the first time I have seen this much snow. Look, look at that. I don't I don't even wanna touch it. Oh my god, this is a lot of snow. Look, look at that. We can make a snowman, you know what I mean? What do you think? Yeah. Oh my god, it's freezing. And then the power was out, right? Mm -hmm. The electricity was out. Wow. So, do you like to live in this kind of weather? No. Why not? <laughs> it's pretty. Well, it is, and then you get, you'll get sick of it because it's cold. <laughs> so cold. Yeah. Oh, so you you don't appreciate this beauty, huh? No, I mean I do, but every once in a while, but this is gonna hang around for a few days at least. Oh my God, it's gonna be a few days. Mm -hmm. Ooh, man! Oh my God, look at uh, look at Kitty, Tiara, and Jeff. They're all waiting. They're like, what's going on? Tiara, no, you cannot come out, Tiara. Tiara, Tiara. Yeah, choo 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 choo! It's cold! It's cold! Look at that! Hey, hey, Tiara, no, no, no! <laughs> Tiara, no! <laughs> You're gonna get sick! <laughs> they are so... They really wanted to go outside right now. But you can, Jeff. You have never seen this kind of thing snow in your life, Tiara, right? Yeah. And let's go to the front yard. Okay, this is our front yard. Oh man, I don't even want to go outside, but I just want to go into the... <gasps> Look at this snow! Oh my goodness! Wow, can you see the snow, people? Oh my god, there's no... There's nothing here. Wow. This is my neighborhood. Look at that. It's snow everywhere. Nobody is walking around. This is a Texas. Wow. This is very, very interesting. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh my god. Look at this. What? Oh my god. Crazy, crazy. But I'm free. Let's go inside. Ah. What are we doing? This is all for my YouTube channel. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh shit. Let's go. You can it's like I'm wipe it down a later. Ow, it's cold. <laughs> oh no. I'm freezing.
more than 620,000 waking up without power in Texas this morning. And some 7 million people under orders to boil their water before using it. Pipes freezing, bursting all over that great state. There's more dangerous weather on the way this morning. 10 states in the District of Columbia under states of emergency declarations right now, including Texas. Marcus Morris starts us off in Dallas, a city virtually paralyzed by the weather. Good morning, Marcus. Absolutely, Michael. Good morning. We had intended to show you the ice that has formed on the side of this building, and you can see it there. It's all gone all the way down, covering the, the landscaping there, the frozen pipes bursting. But the fire department rushing to the scene here on a report of heavy smoke coming from a generator. The power has been out here, and it's evidence of how this catastrophe is unfolding in so many ways. This morning, the humanitarian crisis in Texas is accelerating. Millions still without power or water. What is going on right now is completely unacceptable. The city of Houston, the so-called energy capital of the world, brought to its knees. Hundreds lining up for much-needed supplies, as officials here tell residents with power to boil water. How can we boil water? We don't even have power. We have been without power for 60 hours now and without water for about 24. My family and I have been in the dark since Sunday night. Frozen water pipes bursting, destroying homes, some causing ceilings to collapse. We are sitting here by the fire. In San Antonio, Kristen Haddix is trying to keep her 11-month-old baby warm. Her family's life source is this lantern. Trying to boil some water so we can make some warm bottles for my daughter. We only have three light sources. We have our propane fireplace, one battery powered light that we plugged in before the electricity went out, and otherwise it's candles. Julie Crawford has been boiling snow for her family to use as their primary water source. We're running dangerously low on water. So now what we've been doing all day is actually coming outside, getting snow, putting it in our pots, and heating it on our propane grill. Hospitals around the state pushed to their brink, relying on generators and water trucks. In Austin, a facility with 300 patients reporting it's losing heat, even transporting patients becoming an obstacle. It is very difficult to drive on the roads. Um, as it gets darker and you, you have ice on the roads, it is very difficult to, to send people out. Officials say this week there have been more customers in Texas without power than there were during Hurricane Harvey. They say high demand and overloaded utilities led to the outages. Texas is the only state in the entire country on its own electrical grid. A nonprofit company called the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOT, manages about 90% of the state's power. The company now under fire for not being better prepared. We're working 24 hours a day ever since Sunday night to get power restored to Texans, but that's not enough, obviously. We've got to keep that moving down as fast as we can because our only priority right now is getting power to the folks in Texas. This morning, Governor Abbott calling for an investigation into the company and what went wrong. I'm not suggesting in any way that uh, there's been any criminal activity or anything like that, but it is something that needs to be looked at. The power to a number of homes here in Texas was restored overnight, but still so many people remain in the dark. And between the electric issues and the water, guys, this is far from over for so many people here in Texas. Hello, everybody. Uh, I have not been able to upload my YouTube video for some reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, last Monday, uh, last Monday, uh, when I woke up, I saw a lot of snow and I was so excited because I've been living here for 10 years and I have never seen that much snow in here in Texas where I live. So I was very excited. So like you can see later on on my video, you will see I was kind of excited. However, um, when I went to the bathroom to take a shower, um, I took a shower and then I did not even finish my showering. I, I did not even finish my shower, okay? But the power went out. So I thought, oh, it's gonna be coming back after a, an hour or so. However, 
things was that it did not come come back for one hours, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, and I was like, what is going on here, right? And the weather was really, really cold. It was like uh, minus 20 Celsius, okay? It's very rare uh, weather in Texas, okay? So the power went out. I was not able to use my heat, which means that it my house was getting colder and colder right so i was like what's going on and um i thought that we are gonna be okay after maybe five hours or six hours but half of was that the power had gone out in my case for three days so from Monday to Wednesday it was very cold and I was very scared and I was very uncomfortable I was not able to use my electricity I was not able to use my internet and since I'm a teacher I teach from home but I had I had I had to use my internet, but what can I do? I cannot use my internet, so but using that's not a big deal. But the big deal was that it was so cold, and and I was not able to comprehend what happened in Texas. This was the very tragedy in Texas where so many people have been affected on this issue. Now, uh, I got my electricity back to my home on Wednesday night and we were warned, we were advised that to boil the water because, you know, the water that we had to drink or use was not safe so i had to i had to boil all the water to even like you know brush my teeth and everything okay all that um having this experience has taught me lots of lessons in my life having electricity water all that we always thought that that's just like that's there that's there but however if you lose your electricity electricity and power and water if you do are not able to get it that is very something that you are feeling that your life is in crisis okay um so uh, I had to, I had to, uh, you know, recuperate myself to be able to um, talk uh, on my YouTube channel again. Um, I mean, it's nothing. Some people have died, or many people lost their houses and whatnot. However, I am very grateful that I still have my light and water and I can still record my video to uh, put out there. So, being normal is essential, okay? Being normal. Being normal is not easy these days, right? We have gone through COVID-19. Sorry, I'm crying. We have gone through COVID-19, right? We're still going through COVID-19. We don't even know when it's gonna be done. But during this COVID-19 crisis, I have experienced this one, which has affected my mentality and 
my thoughts in life a lot. Um, so everybody, you should you should just be grateful what you have. If you have a house, if you have a room, if you have water, if you have electricity, you should be blessed. Okay, you feel grateful what you do. So. Uh, I'm so happy now I'm coming out here to talk with you about what I feel after maybe two, one and a half, you know, one and a half weeks later on. But it has been certainly a challenge for me to deal with everything what I have encountered. 자, 지금부터 한국말로 하겠습니다. <웃음> 안녕하십니까, 진아 선생님입니다. 저는 어, 텍사스 세넨토니오 텍사스에 산지 10년 차인데요. 맨날 이제 눈이 안 와서 겨울에 눈도 볼수 없고 항상 이렇게 어, 뭐 이렇게 날씨가 맨날 덥냐 이렇게 컴플레인을 하고 너무 더운 날씨가 싫었었어요. 그런데 어, 지난주 일요일 날 갑자기 어, 일요일 날 자는데 창밖을 바라봤는데. 갑자기 눈이 너무 많이 오는 거예요. 그래서 어, 너무 아름답다. 어, 너무 이쁘다. 이렇게 생각을 했어요. 근데 그래서 제 고양이들도 텍사스 세난토니 출신이니까 창밖을 바라보면서 뭐 이렇게 너무 막 신기해하더라고요. 월요일 날 아침이었습니다. 이번 주 아니 지난 주 월요일 아침이었습니다. 밖에 보니까 눈이 정말 이만큼 쌓였고 텍사스에서 볼수 없는 볼수 없는 눈의 양이죠. 그리고 너무 아름다워서 제가 다음 영상에 올리겠는데 나가서 눈도 밟아보고 뭐 이렇게 했는데 날씨가 너무 추운 거예요. 영하 20도까지 내려갔어요. 여기는 겨울에 아무리 추워봤자 영하 3도, 4도, 5도 그 정도거든요. 영하 20도에 큰 대설까지 내린 거죠. 저는 어, 욕실에 목욕을 하러 들어왔습니다. 아침에 목욕을 하고 몸도 채 말리기 전에 갑자기 불이 나갔어요. 근데 여름에 가끔 뭐 살다 보면 가끔 정전이 될 때가 있잖아요. 정전이 되면 뭐 5분 후에 나오든지 1시간 후에 정전이 다시 복구되든지 하는데 복구가 안 되는 거예요. 복구가 뭐 예를 들어서 한 시간에 어 아니 세 시간 후에 잠깐 들어왔는데 뭐 일부러 또 나가고 한 시간 후에 들어왔는데 일부러 또 나가고 그래서 결론은 지난주 월요일부터 수요일날 저녁까지 어, 전기가 없이 살았습니다. 전기가 없으니까 물론 인터넷 사용도 못하고 다행히 물이 나왔어요. 하지만 너무 추웠습니다. 그래서 뭐 레깅스 다섯 개 껴입고 또 엄청 많이 입고 지금 텍사스가 한국의 열다섯 배로 큰 주인데요. 너무나 많은 사람들이 피해를 입었습니다. 어, 텍사스가 이 추위에 대비도 안 됐을 뿐더러 에너지 관련한 회사, 회사가 정부와 연관이 안된 독자적인 민영화 또 어, 운영하는 유일한 주라고 합니다. 저도 이번에 처음 들었습니다. 그래서 그런지 아마 그런 추위, 갑자스러운 강추위와 모든 것에 대비가 안 됐던 것 같아요. 그래서 어떤 사람들은 뭐, 저 같은 경우는 3일이지만 어떤 사람들은 열흘, 어떤 사람들은 집이 막 동파돼서 파이프 다 얼고 터져서 어, 물이 안 나오니까 호텔, 호텔도 못 가니까, 뭐, 친구 집, 뭐, 지금 이 팬데믹, 코로나 바이러스 감염이 심한 이 시기에, 그렇게들 다들 지냈습니다. 수요일날 밤에 전기가 들어와서, 어? 또 나갈까? 제가 근데 계속 이어지더라고요. 제가 요번, 아, 이 이벤트, 이벤트? 이런 사건을 통해서 느낀 거는 우리가 너무 작은 것에 감사할 줄을 모르고 살았다. 
심어 그렇죠. 작은 것, 전기 하나, 물 하나, 내가 잘 방에 있는 그런 환경이 된다면 그거는 정말 감사한 겁니다. 땡큐인 거예요. 근데 우리가 항상 인간인지라 더 많은 것을 항상 취하다 보니 욕심이 끝이 없이 나가죠. 아, 지난주 수요일 이후로 아, 일은 계속 했어요. 계속 예약된 학생들이 있어 수업을 해야 되고 했지만 아, 제가 좀 강철 멘토인 것 같아요. 그런 직업적인 면에서는 계속 수업을 했고 진행을 했지만 어, 아침에 잘, 밤에 잘 때, 그리고 아침에 일어날 때, 막 마음이 힘들 때가 많이 있었어요. 그래서 여러분, 음, 이게 글로벌 워밍의 하나일 수도 있고, 다양한, 다양한 리서치가 지금 이루어지고 있겠죠. 근데 중요한 건, 오늘 하루, 물이 있고 내가 먹을 게 있고 전기가 잘 들어오고 인터넷이 되고 작은 거에 대한 감사함을 우리가 더 절실히 느끼면서 어, 우리 후세들에게 어, 우리가 저, 우리 환경을 잘 보존해서 어, 이런 어려움을 겪지 않도록 해야 되는 게 저희 책임인 것 같습니다. 좀 이렇게 좀 너무 감성적이라서 죄송합니다. <웃음> 네, 그럴 수밖에 없는 상황이었습니다. Okay, so that's all. I am going to try to upload my video on a regular basis from now on if everything is okay. 자, 지금부터 좀 상황이 어, 잘 정상적으로 진행이 된다면 아, 유튜브 업로드 하는 거를 좀 정기적으로 일주일에 한두 개씩은 올리도록 노력하겠습니다. 여러분들, happy, happy, be healthy, be happy, be grateful. Thank you.